Rising seas caused by the changing climate are slowly swallowing the El Bosque fishing community in southern Mexico. Since 2019, dozens of homes and other buildings have been swept away by the waves, forcing 700 people to leave. We hear about climate change all the time, but we never thought that it would come to us. Former El Bosque residents are among hundreds of people, UN officials, companies and scientists who spoke at landmark hearings held by the Inter-American Court of Human Rights in the Brazilian city of Manaus. The court will issue an opinion grappling with a fundamental question of our times. Are governments obligated to protect people from climate change, and if so, to what degree? The answer will be important for a growing wave of global litigation aimed at forcing countries to compensate victims of climate change and do more to control its impact. We have high expectations for this document and hope it will offer a favorable instrument for the protection of the environment and human rights in order to force countries to act on their obligations, whether in advocacy or litigation. Colombia and Chile's governments asked the court to intervene, saying they were experiencing daily climate challenges with fires, landslides, droughts and floods becoming more severe. They also asked the court to clarify what governments must do to protect environmental activists. Latin America is the most dangerous region for environmental defenders, including children. I started my activism when I was nine years old, and since I was 11 years old, I have been receiving death threats and constant attacks, which haven't stopped. Many attendees were indigenous people who say they are being disproportionately affected. This is the moment we want the Inter-American Court to hear us, hear our cry, hear our call, hear our anguish, feel some of the pain that the indigenous people of Brazil have been going through for thousands of years. The court's opinion applies in over 20 Latin American and Caribbean countries and could be issued by the end of the year. It will be closely watched by other international courts also dealing with the issue. There is little legal precedent when it comes to climate change obligations, but their importance will only rise as the crisis of our lifetime continues to unfold. Alessandro Rampietti, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.